Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And before I get started here, I gotta get my shout outs out of the way. Today's shout outs go to Bearded Stutz and Omatola Lori. Both were the first to say first in one of my recent videos and thus win this shout out. So, congratulations to both of you. So, what do I got for you today? This is the new Futon, Hellafar Futon 2. This is actually a nice quadcopter. It impressed me actually just looking at it right now because this thing has a lot of attention to detail in the way it's manufactured, the way it feels. You know, this does not feel like a cheap <laughs> quadcopter. There's a lot of work in this, you know, a lot of details like these, uh, I think these stainless steel uh, motor mounts. Um, we got a nice, very nice uh, receiver here. You know, usually you get these little X, XM receivers. This is an XSR receiver in this thing with telemetry. Pretty nice. Um, you know, even uh, the way manufacturer, the way it's manufactured, you know, it's like this, um, the way the uh, power cable is soldered to the board, then they, on top of that, they put some gunk over the top of it so it doesn't fatigue fail. So there's a lot of little details like that in this quadcopter that I like. You know, this one's actually assembled quite nicely. But let's go over the par parts we got here. I see I got to clean my lens here. I got to uh, smudge on it, but what we got here, we got an actual run cam camera. I don't know if you can see that or not. A run cam uh, micro swift, uh, that's nice in, a, in itself. But that run cam can be aimed up or down, all the way up to 90 degrees, they say, uh, and uh, downward too. I don't, I think it's minus 30 downward, but um, I got it a little bit upward because I want to go for speed today. Uh, what I'm planning to do in this today's flight is uh, since I got a real nice receiver and I'm gonna it has a real nice FPV transmitter too very powerful what I'd like to do today is high speed long distance runs over the desert since this has the capability to do such and with that in mind notice I got a big battery on this thing this is a 4s 1500 uh, um, milliamp per hour battery to give me an extra long flight time I'm hoping <laughs> so I can go a little bit longer doing these long high speed runs you know I'm gonna do some punches and some uh, acrobatics but mainly low and fast <laughs> that's what i want to do today okay let me go over the other things that are on this uh, quadcopter i forgot to mention uh we got a holy bro atl atl fpv transmitter with audio it's uh, 40 channels but on top of that you know it has uh, on-screen display and you can adjust the uh frequencies and also the uh, power output of this transmitter from 15 pit, 25 milliwatt, 100 milliwatt, 200 milliwatt, 400 and even 600 milliwatt. And you do that through on-screen display prompts on your goggles. So you don't, and you can change the channels of this too via the on-screen display prompts. So, you know, that makes it easy instead of pressing little buttons, although it does have a little button if you really want to do that, the button route. <laughs> But uh, it's very easy to to configure it via on-screen display. Now, on top of that, we got a with that receiver or transmitter, we got a Pagoda 2 antenna. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Pagoda 2s in that they get damaged really easily, but they do. They are supposed to provide improved FPV uh, transmission in terms of uh, if you're yanking and banking, it should you know give equal transmission no matter what the orientation angle is on the antenna and, and the quadcopter. Um, it has on-screen display I mentioned. Uh, we have a Holy Bro Kakut F4 V2 flight control board on this thing. A good flight control board loaded up with Betaflight 3.2.2. Additionally, we have BL Heli 32 uh, 30 amp ESCs on each one of the arms. Notice this is not a 4-in-1 ESC quadcopter. This has individual ESCs. I gotta hold this in my other hand because it's getting my arms getting a little sore here holding it up. Uh, we have 2305, 2400 kV motors on this, uh, generic motors. Uh, I don't know how well they'll do, but we'll find out here shortly. And 546 tri blade props on there. And this is available in PNP and FreeSky. And again, I got the FreeSky XSR one. Uh, in the ads for this, it says this comes with an XM. It's not an XM again. It's an XSR receiver we got in here. And finally, we got a buzzer on this, but no LEDs on the back. So all in all, this should be, hopefully, should be a great flyer. I'm going to find out here shortly. So let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. So I hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, I'll be flying it today with the uh, T8SG Jumper Plus V2. And uh, we're going to start off uh, doing a line of sight flying. 
and, we're, and it'll be in an angle mode. I'm going to keep it in an angle mode, but let's arm it. Notice the motors are in idle, and we're going to the air. And let's bring it in close so you can see it. And then, wow, <laughs> tons of punch. And let's bring it back and do one more punch, and then we'll go into uh, flying it via acro. Bring it in closer. And ready? <laughs> Tons of it. <laughs> I don't know, that bit of battery I got is a little bit of generic battery, but we're going to find out how well it does in FPV. So let's put it on the ground here and go right into FPV flying. So hold on. Let me get it back in here. There's got a little bit of a wind here. I don't know if, how well I'm going to get it on the pad, but right there should be fine in this army. So let's go for uh, FPV of this and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy the second part of this flight. Okay, let's send this up FPV and see how it performs. Let me adjust my lenses here. My goggles are set. I've got 4.1 volt per cell. And let's see here, going to acro, or air. I guess I got it stuck on air. That's fine, we'll fly it in air. Do I got acro here? No, air for everything. So, I, I'm sorry, I thought I adjusted that with, that with acro only, but we're gonna take to the air now and fly it just in air mode then. And arming. Air, ready to go, and take into the air, and air. Let me see how it feels first before I do anything. And I'm looking at my RSSI, 70, 60, about 100 meters away over there. Bringing it by here, taking it gentle first. Sit gentle, and then let's punch it. And around, and coming down, and let's do what I want it to do. Let's see if I can get done. Now I'm seeing a little bit of fuzziness even though I'm at 500, 400 milliwatts there. And I'm going over the desert. I should have raised that camera a little bit higher so I can get a little more speed out of it, but that's fine. Fine, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> Fun quadcopter. It's actually not too bad. Come down. Nicely done, Futon. Or, yeah. Going up again. So, oh no, this isn't too shabby, folks. This is well done. And like I said, I thought it would be, because all the parts on this are very very good parts. This is actually put together rather well. <laughs> this is like a fighter plane, this one. Coming around, let's go down again real low and fast. Boy, those bushes are coming up so fast I'll be there that uh, I'm afraid to hit them. Well done, quadcopter. Well done, quadcopter. <laughs> well, so the Futon 2 is not too shabby of a quadcopter. It it's not cheap though either, so you know, it's because of the parts. You know, everything on this thing is high quality and well, well built. I'm, that's, I'm, it surprises me too, you know, considering this is a, you know, a furry bee. <laughs> Renamed, you know, this furry bee is, the, or futon is a new name, I guess, for furry bee. And, uh, you know, usually they're not the best. <laughs> but this is, is not bad at all. 
well done quadcopter by Futon. So I guess they wanted to change their <laughs> they changed their name and, and change their reputation. <laughs> that is the idea. And they're doing it with this one. I'm hearing a car. Is there a car around, hon? No? No. Okay. Okay. Boom. Okay. I'm going to be calling it quits here shortly here. Because we're getting down below 3.4, 3.5 per cell. But one more pass over the desert, one more pass by us. I can find us, oh, there we are. <laughs> and the beeper's going to be going off here shortly, so. Okay, I'm going to switch it back to angle mode. Every time I try to land, I, the reason I'm doing angle is and when I try to land with in stab mode, I better get back fast too. Here in acro, I always mess it up. All right. And there we go. <laughs> okay. So that was the flight of the Futon 2. Uh, let me give you my thoughts on that thing. I disarmed it. Yeah, we're here. We got it. Those motors aren't running. I, I disarmed it, but I went below three volts. <laughs> I wanted to prevent or I should have landed earlier, folks. But all in all, well done, Futon. This is a nice, nice racer. Um, <laughs> it feels like, like I said, feels like you're flying a fighter airplane there. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> so well done. And this is the Halifar again, Futon 2 from Halifar. So. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.